when you um, see a baby withdraw, never, ever, ever forget it. And with someone that has opiate use disorder, their withdrawal is going to look just like that, just like what a baby looks like when they're when they're going through that process. Um, the fentanyl crisis just keeps going. And I, I don't know, it's kind of one of those, it's like, are we, are we ever gonna get a little bit better? If I didn't meet Hushabai, I would have had no clue what NAS was, that, that baby was going to withdrawal, what to look for, how to, how to care for my baby. I had no knowledge. So we do see fentanyl a lot. Uh, the moms are either using it or misusing the fentanyl. So we do the testing on the babies. So we send either the meconium or the baby's first poops for testing. But we also send the umbilical cord tissue um, for testing and that will specifically look for fentanyl uh, exposure and that's how we diagnose that yes fentanyl has been taken during the pregnancy. The incidence has been increasing throughout so if you look at the numbers in the early 2000s um, so the NAS babies only accounted for about 1.2 per thousand births in the hospitals uh, but now we have increased to about 8.8 on an average for a thousand hospital birds.